Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to get my everyday elf makeup look. This particular look I wear every single time I work at SeaWorld as Tanny Balm, the Christmas tree decorating elf. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. All right, to start things off, I'm gonna prime my face with a Makeup Forever Step 1 Hydrating Primer. I'm just gonna press this into the skin to make sure that my skin is hydrated and my makeup will last all day long. Moving on to my under eyes, I'm gonna be using the Becca Brightening Under Eye Corrector and I'm going to press this under my eyes. I'm first gonna warm it up on my fingertips just to make sure that it does blend out easily and doesn't tug on my skin. This is gonna really brighten up your under eyes and make sure that it covers up any dark circles you may have. Moving on to our foundation, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation and I'm just going to smear that all over the skin and then buff it out with a mineral foundation brush. Make sure to take your time with this and really, really blend everything out as you don't want any streak lines or any harsh edges or just any clumps in general. On to concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I'm going to make a triangle underneath the eyes. I'm also going to apply this under my nose and right in between my eyebrows just to brighten everything up and highlight. I'm also going to apply that right underneath the cheekbones to highlight as well. Then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to press this underneath my eyes making sure that everything is blended in but I don't pick up too much of the product. Now we're going to set everything into place. So starting off with the under eyes, I'm going to set it with the Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette. And I'm using that middle highlight. And I'm just going to press that on top of the Maybelline Concealer. Now to set the rest of the face, I'm going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Setting Powder. And I'm just going to use my foundation brush to blend this all over my skin. This setting powder really locks your makeup into place. I had this makeup on for at least 12 hours, maybe longer. And my face looked just as fresh as it did when I first applied the foundation. Now we're going to step away from the face and move on to the eyes. So I'm going to be using my Maybelline 24 Hour Color Tattoo in the shade Barely Branded. It's a beautiful shimmery champagne shade and I'm just going to blend that all over the lid. Moving on to ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Fringe, I am just going to apply this to my inner corners and then I'm going to blend this onto my eye. I find that the best way to apply this shadow is by using your fingertips. You can try to use a brush, but I like using my fingertips. Next up, we're going to be using the shade Desert, and we are just going to blend this into my crease. It's going to be a beautiful transition shade to really warm up the eyes, and I just really, really love this shadow. I think it's going to be my new uh, go-to transition shade. We're also going to blend this right underneath the lower lash line just to really define those lower lashes. Next up is Bandit and this is a beautiful copper like really reddish brown shade and we're going to focus this in the outer V. Really deepening up that outer V and then slowly working our way into the crease. We're also going to blend that in the lower lash line and then continue to blend it into the crease. Moving on to eyeliner, I'm going to be using my Essence eyeliner pen and I'm just going to create a very soft thin wing. Now we're going to take the NARS liner in Via Benito and we are just going to tight line our upper lash line. Now to set our liner in place, I'm going to be taking the ColourPop shadow in Central Perk and I'm just going to press that right on top of the shadow to kind of give it more of a burgundy look versus that harsh black, but it's really going to make sure that your liner does not budge. Now we're going to apply mascara. I'm using my favorite, which you all know is the CoverGirl Full Lash Blue Mascara and I'm going to apply generous amounts of coats to the top and bottom lashes. Now moving on to brows, basically what I do is I take the Tarte Amazonian and Clay Mousse and I just pencil out my brows, really deepen them up and create the shape that I want. And then what I'll do next is I will set them with the Benefit Gimme Brow Gel. Now we're going to go back to the face. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and we are just going to bring some life back to the skin. I'm going to be contouring a bit but I'm also going to be blending this down my neck 
just giving myself lots and lots of warmth. Moving on to my highlight, I'm using the ColourPop Highlight in Spoon. This is a beautiful highlight, and I like this much more than my typical highlights from Becca. But I'm just going to press this into the skin with my fingers. The best way to apply this highlight is by applying it with your fingertips, and I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones, on the cupid's bow, on the bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose, and underneath my brow bow. Now I'm going to be taking the ColourPop blush in between the sheets, and I'm just going to buff this into the skin, really working it onto the apples of my cheeks and blending it up into my hairline. Now for the star of the show, which brings that elf glittery glow, I'm going to be using the Ben Nye Lumiere Luxe Powder in Ultra Bright, and I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones and every single part where I applied the original highlight, just to give me that Christmassy elf glow. Now for the foam part, I'm also going to be applying this onto my lids. So I use this really precise um, brush. I don't even know what it's called, but I just packed that onto the inner corner and blended it into um, the first half part of my lid and also applied it underneath my brow to make my eyes really, really pop. For the classic red lip, I'm going to be using the Essence Lip Liner in Femme Fatale. I think that's how you say it. And I'm just going to line my lips and I'm going to fill them in. Then I'm going to be using my new favorite lipstick, and it is the LOC by Tati Lipstick in Wildest Dreams. Guys, this stays put no matter if you eat, no matter if you're drinking, no matter the situation, this is going to stay in place. It's a beautiful red shade, and I'm going to leave the links down below. You've got to check out Tati's lipstick. This is by far my favorite red lipstick that I own. Then I'm going to set everything in place with my setting spray, and this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial. It is perfect for any occasion, especially during this holiday season. If you did like this look, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, have a wonderful week, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.